Oh, hi, Kate. <laughs> I, I didn't see you there. How are you doing? I'm pretty good, you know, I just got back from McDonald's. So. Oh, oh, that looks a little heavy. Uh, yeah, it is. I didn't really finish my food. I got full. It always happens. I get too much food all the time. Uh, what do you got in there? Uh, a couple bites of a sandwich, some fries. I'll probably just throw it away. Tigard High School has a major problem, and much like an introvert decked out in camouflage, it goes unnoticed. Every day, Tigard High School students and staff waste hundreds of dollars worth of food for atrocious reasons. Food waste is a problem that costs the education department billions annually, yet there has been little attention given to fixing the problem at a school level. According to our research, food is highly important to the majority of school, but food waste is an overlooked problem. Is there a possible solution for Tigard High School? In America, $1.2 billion is wasted each year on surplus school lunch alone. This is largely due to the subpar quality of school-provided food. America wastes $218 billion a year nationally on food, which is quite a lot compared to the $17 billion, $300 million that our average student body guessed. The U.S. wastes a lot of resources because we waste food. For example, each year we waste approximately 2.6% of all greenhouse emissions. This may not seem like a lot, but that is enough fuel to fill 37 million cars. 21% of the U.S. agricultural water usage, which is more than Texas, California, and Ohio combined. 19% of all U.S. cropland, which is more land than all of New Mexico, which is 126,910 square miles, and is the number one contributor to landfills, just to name a few. We conducted an interview with a perpetrator of food waste, our very own Victoria Gailey. Victoria, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm 18 years old. I go to Tigard High School. Um, I play golf. So uh, why are you here today? Um, I'm a food waster, you know? Yeah. Ooh, all right, so how often do you waste food? You know, um, probably five times a week at least. Like, I, I'm i normally pretty good about finishing my dinner, but um, I throw away almost all or half of the lunch that I bring to school. And I feel so bad for, like, my stepdad because, like, he, like, makes me lunch every night and then I, like, just don't finish it and yeah it's just a big waste mm -hmm. so you already kind of answered this question but do you waste every meal no not every meal like most of the time I don't even eat breakfast um, which is bad I know most important meal of the day um, and then like lunch I like I, like, I have a snack like in between there like a, of a like granola bar or whatever and then um, and then it's like my lunch that I like waste the most and then but I'm pretty good about finishing dinner because like that's normally where like the the yummy stuff is you know but it's like the sandwich and stuff that I really just, I just can't finish. How do you feel when you see food being wasted? Um it doesn't make me feel particularly good. Uh, that too short? I definitely know that it could be going somewhere like more useful that when somebody who's hungry could eat it. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely a lot like, yes, food's getting wasted. <laughs> what are some alternatives to food waste that would be better? Um, well, I mean, we could always like, maybe put the food that we don't want in this like community like bin that we, the school like takes out and it like give it to people who are struggling with hunger or other people who want it, I guess, yeah. Uh, I'm Isaiah Hollingsworth. I'm a junior at Tiger High School. So uh, Isaiah, do you have any special dietary habits? Like are you vegan, vegetarian, cosmopolitan? I am pescatarian, so I eat fish, but I don't eat meat. Uh, what is your opinion about food waste here at Tigard High School? I think there's a lot of food that the school makes us, uh, they give to us, but we don't always eat it. And oftentimes it gets thrown in the trash, and I think that that food could go somewhere, and I don't think it's a good idea to just waste food like that. Uh, what do you do when you see good food being wasted? Um, if I see food being wasted, I normally try to eat it um, before it's in the trash can, of course. Um, even if it's meat, I'll still eat it. Um, I just don't like food being wasted. Whoa! What? 
Let's hear that again. Even if it's meat, I'll still eat it. I am pescatarian, so I eat fish, but I don't eat meat. Isaiah later told us that he's a pescatarian to avoid heart problems that run in his family, but he's willing to compromise his health in order to prevent food waste. 10% of the nation's total energy budget, 50% of its land, and 80% of all U.S. fresh water consumption is dedicated to the production and distribution of food. Okay. How aware are students of their own personal food waste? We created a survey to get a better understanding of the students here at Tigard. The results were surprising. Question 1. How much do you value food? On a scale of 1 to 5, over half of people surveyed said that they value food at a 5, with diminishing returns going down the rest of the numbers. This isn't too unexpected. We need food to survive, so of course we value it highly. But then why do we throw it away? Question 2. When you throw away food, what is usually your reasoning? In this question, a single answer also held majority over the rest combined. Over half of people responded that they throw away food because they're full. Other reasons included that the food is spoiled, that the taste is bad, and some more non-answers. Question 3. How often do you not finish meals? About 65% of people said that they don't finish their meals at least once or more per week, with the remaining 35% not finishing less than once per week. Think of all that food. Question 4. When you don't finish a meal, how much is left? An overwhelming majority of 72% responded that there's usually a few bites left when they're done eating. This may point to portion size being a cause of food waste. The question that got many diverse answers was, when you don't finish a meal, do you throw it away or save it for later? 56% of people went with save it for later, while the rest were throw it away and its variants. We also asked the question, is food waste a big deal to you? Why or why not? We got a lot of thoughtful, in-depth answers, but they boiled down to 50.8% of respondents saying yes, 35.1% saying no, and 14.1% being somewhere in between. Hi, my name is Soren Peterson, and I'm currently a senior. Hi, I'm Mallory Cross, and I am in 11th grade. My name is Devin Cherry, and I'm a junior. How do you feel about throwing away food? Well, if there's food that's still fresh and readily available, it should be given to people that need it, rather than being wasted. Um, how I feel about throwing away food is sometimes it's really bad because a lot of the food that is thrown away, I know, is eatable or um, can, be <laughs> can be eaten. And um, that it, there's just too much thrown away, but sometimes you can't help it. Yeah, definitely. Um. I think it's bad because someone bought the food, and if you buy the food and then waste some of it, then you're wasting potential value. Do you think food waste is a big deal? Yes. Um, there's a lot of times, especially in the corporate level area, where a lot of food is thrown away, where other people who can't quite afford that food are left to starve. I sent him, and I was like, Yes, because sometimes when it can be eaten, it can be given to other people, or if it's not perishable, it can be collected and given to like needy people like the homeless. I think that's a great way to solve that problem. Definitely. Um, I do think it's a big deal because uh, I'm pretty sure the United States wastes a lot of food that could be used in other places, or that money could be used in other countries, it could be circulating. Uh, in what situations is throwing food away okay? Um, when it's gone bad to where a, per a person can't eat it, like if it's moldy in your fridge, or, um, yeah, I think that's it. Well, if the food is rotten or, or damaged or unviable or unedible, then yes, that food should be thrown away to prevent injury or illness. Um, I mean, I don't think it really ever is, unless it's tampered with and then the company you made it has to throw it away. Really, there shouldn't be a reason if you purchase it, there shouldn't be a reason for throwing it away. Uh, when is it not okay? Not okay to throw it away? Yeah. In almost any circumstance where the food hasn't been tampered with. Yeah. When is it not okay to throw away food? Um, when it's gone bad to where a person can't eat it, like if it's moldy in your fridge, or um, yeah, I think that's it. Well, uh, when it's gone bad to where a
is it not okay? When it's perfectly good food and it it can help somebody, but you just like don't want to eat it, I think you that could be given to another person, and that's not okay to throw away. When is it not okay? It's not okay when the food is still readily available and it's just being thrown out to either increase uh, stock of properties or you know when people just don't want to eat anymore and they just want to get rid of it. To see how food waste is handled with the higher-ups of Tigard High, we got an interview with Tyler DeVilla, vice principal of the school. We were curious to see how food waste affected the school, if at all, on a financial level. So we're doing some research on food waste of the Tiger community, and uh, as, as an administrator, er, in the administrative process, has this come up as an issue before? It has not. Okay. No. So, so there's been no talk of, of food waste in, in any of this? Um, so far, no, that this year we have not had a conversation around food waste. I think, it's okay. a, I think you bring up a great point, um, okay. not something that we've considered. No. Okay, so like specifically in the one room here at Tigard, uh, so the warm food that isn't bought, so like a pizza or like a hamburger, mm -hmm. if it's not bought by the end of the day, it gets thrown away. So there's, there's some like thorny ethical questions going on there. Because you don't want to make a ton of extra food and waste a lot. You sure. also really don't want a student to like show up and there's not enough food. Because then that's you're denying a child food. Do you think there's any option for like getting a better place for that food? Because obviously then then there's the other question of like if you have if you have this food and you give it away for free at the end of the day to students, then there's no incentive mm -hmm. to actually buy a food or buy a, a mm -hmm. lunch at all. So. Is there like another place that this food could go? Could this go to, I guess, parts of the community that have less access to food? Sure. I, I mean, I think that's a great a, a great idea. I do know that um, ha one question I have is: Have you talked to some of the cafeteria people uh, about we, some of this? We have briefly. Yeah. Briefly. Okay. Yeah. Because I do know that we have a system of um, like for saving food. Yeah. And so I'm saying like um, not all food that is. Um, not consumed in that school day, as long again following all yeah, yeah. health or safety guidelines as as far as that's concerned, um, would get saved to be reused um, in another way. So yeah, yeah. Um, they do they do different things with it and um, or not necessarily reuse it, but um, to use it again in another way. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, what do you think of expanding compost here at the, the school? Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Okay. I think there's a lot, I mean, you bring up a perfectly valid point, and I think that there's a lot of things that we could explore as far as, like, how we might be a little more um, conscientious around the food that we're not using. Okay. But you're, you're right in the point that you made earlier in saying that um, we definitely want all students to be fed. So therefore, you have to make you know enough food for your student body, but maybe even a little bit more, um, just to be on the safe side, and then also um, to not overdo it and um, end up just having waste. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So both, I mean, both good concerns. Okay. Yeah, I mean, things that we we care about for sure, making sure everyone gets fed, but also not being wasteful. Okay. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Um, okay, so our, our first question, I guess, is um, what's the process with food at the end of the day? Right now, it gets thrown away. Okay. Um, next year, we'll be recycling and putting it in bins, so the scrap foods will be different. So, so that's a big change next year. It's part of the metro. Okay. And, that, and the rules that go with that, so it isn't okay. in the landfills and that. Okay. Okay. So is it going to compost and I'm not real sure. They haven't okay. really told us everything yet. Yeah. They just kinda okay. mentioned it. Who would who would they be? The director of food service. Okay. Um we might have to get in contact with that person. Um so about how much food do you think gets thrown away every day? We try very hard to make the right amount, but it's yeah. just it's a guessing game and we have we wanna have at least 
one of every item available for every student that yeah. wants a lunch so that they have the same choice as the very first student. Yeah. So sometimes that means you have more waste than you want to have, but that's just, you know, it's, it's a guessing game. You just never know how many kids are going out to eat that day and how many, you know. So Today know. we had three burgers left over. Okay. No pizza, no parfaits, a few salads and a few wraps. We ran out of corn dogs, so I mean, usually we go by the numbers that we had the month previous and what's happening to sort of gauge how much we need. But like okay. she Let's, said, if you guys go out to lunch, it's hard to tell. Yeah, that's the well. That's that's uh, that's really proactive, though. Um, that's that's a lot better than I thought it might be. So yeah. and we have you know the Commons Kitchen. But it was about the same as okay. far as the amount of stuff we had to throw away. Okay. Okay. It's not, it's not too terrible. We we don't want to make too much. So. Yeah. No. No. Of course not. You don't because I mean that's that has its whole set of problems. And of course you don't want to make too little because you don't want to tell a kid they can't eat their lunch. So. We have to provide. You know, yeah. If somebody wants lunch. We have to provide it. So. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. That was really good. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. The school has an ethical and legal responsibility to provide lunches to any students who want to buy a lunch, leaving the possibility of making fewer lunches out of the question. So what can we do? We have to find a way to reduce the amount of food that gets thrown away, or find better treatments for the food that would be thrown away. One option that could help the cafeteria staff predict how many lunches they need to make is if students could order their lunches in advance through an online platform or an app. This could give a better estimate of how much food would be needed. Another option is allowing uneaten warm lunches to be distributed as part of an after-school activity. And once we apply these solutions, if we still end up with uneaten perishable foods, we should consider treatment options besides sending food to a landfill. For example, some schools use food waste composts to fertilize their on-campus gardens. Other schools arrange school-to-farm programs, which take food waste scraps from the school and send them to local farms who can compost them for biofertilizer, or use them to feed livestock. These are all feasible options for Tigard High School. In an Oregon DEQ study on food waste treatment, options indicate that composting and anaerobic digestion are the best options of food waste management in the categories of climate, soil carbon, fertilizer replacement, water conservation, and crop yield increase. This means that if we want to make sure the nutrients in our food stay in our food cycle and support Oregon as a whole, we need to keep them out of the trash and get them into compost or anaerobic digestion. But the simplest solution can be done at an individual level. Just be more aware of your food. Make more of an effort to reduce your own food waste. Whether it is giving your extra food to a friend, making a conscious effort to purchase less food, or even just eating those last few bites you can make a difference. As cheesy as that sounds, it's true. Everyone is capable of stopping food waste at a personal level. <laughs> but it's like the sandwich and stuff that I really just, I just can't finish. Awesome, thank you for your time. <laughs> Mrs. Jolly is a health teacher at Tigard High School. Because she teaches nutrition in healthman, uh, healthman fresh classes, <laughs> I'll, I'll just assume. Dead, more like life and... <laughs> <laughs>